Well, good morning. Good morning. So let me first welcome all of you. It's great that you're here, and also thank uh, Mike, but also Gary Kaplan for chairing this. Uh, certainly, I know a lot about Gary's work at Virginia Mason, and the things that he's done is very impressive. So, Gary, thank you for leading this effort. So you heard the introduction. I am a physician and a physician scientist, administrator, policy now policymaker. And so I do come to the table very much with a perspective of a provider. After all, the last, uh, before my last 10 years, I was a chair of medicine at Brigham Women's Hospital. Before that, I was chair of medicine at Stanford. So I understand, obviously, a lot of what you're talking about. It's all about patients and improvement of, uh, of the care. And so in my last 10 years, and actually, no, when I think back, way back when I was at Stanford, even we were always talking about wait times and uh, scheduling, and, and nobody's quite got it right yet. And my last 10 years as the CEO of the health system, certainly we recognize the great need for improvement of uh, patient care through uh, you know, all that we do, not just uh, healthcare scheduling, but really flow times, workflow, systems engineering. So I'm certainly one who believes strongly that in order to provide the right care for our patients, we need to think about the whole picture. And that entire picture requires us to look at how we approach this from a patient perspective, but also from perspective, not so much from a provider-centric perspective, but perspective of patients and use the best tools that we have uh, bringing to the table uh, to enable us to do that. So I know all of you care a lot about this. So you heard the word systems engineering. I must admit, when it's at Duke, we really push very hard for system engineering. And we have, in fact, I think a good 70 people who, in fact, are either industrial engineers or system engineers that work with us as a system to look at how we can improve things. Now, this particular initiative certainly started with, uh, you know, a conversation with uh, Secretary McDonald at the VA and others about the issues that you're well aware of. But in many ways, uh, this is a much bigger issue. It's not only about the VA. It's about really how we bring the best mind and your best experience to the table. Uh, and I want to have a shout out to Don Berwick, who I see sitting over there. Well, he certainly has all that experience and knowledge and wisdom to bring to the table, as many of you have here, to think about what is the best way to move this forward. So I think this is a national challenge. I'm sure Don will tell you that. It's part of his triple aim as well. It is, in fact, the patient experience. It is, in fact, uh, you know, care of the patient overall. So I feel that uh, the, even though we're on a fast track study, which we, of course, there's tremendous pressure to feel that we need to move this fairly quickly on behalf of VA. As you heard, we have a workshop and a consensus study. And of course, we're very proud of the fact that when we put forward the consensus study, our recommendation, in fact, will be the recommendation on behalf of IOM, on behalf of the nation, uh, towards, in this case, the VA. And also, I believe that your work will have broad impact in all of healthcare. Certainly, if I was still at Duke, I would be looking forward to the kind of knowledge you put forth together and to see how, in fact, we can learn from all this. So the, today's workshop is pulling together your leading authorities. Now, you're the leading authorities on scheduling, access, and systems approach to healthcare improvement. And third, also inform the activities of consensus study. So at this point, I do want to give members of consensus study committee, planning committee, really thank, a special thanks for putting in so much work into it. Uh, so I, as you pointed out, this is in fact is a partnership between the National Academy of Engineering and Institute of Medicine. And uh, it's a joint innovation collaborative. It's a systems approach to health care, which will be guiding national efforts uh, with the system level thinking and approaches. So I think you're doing really important work. And I really wish you luck. I, I, you know, as you can imagine, I'm into another meeting at 9 o'clock, but I would like to certainly hear Gary's remarks at the very beginning. And I'm going to try to drop in uh, here and there to, uh, to hear, to get some of the energy 
that comes out from this workshop. I do want to thank the staff, uh, Mindy Moran, you have already heard, uh, Kate Burns, Liz Johnston, and of course, Mike McGuinness for putting this together. So thank you so much for being here. It is all about patience. It's all about improving health, and thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you.